is everyone doing today? We just got ourselves up and ready for the day and now we're about to head on out to our old house. What are we going to get babe? Where's he gone? What are we going to get from the old house? Where are you? Where are you? What are we going to get from the old house? Let's tell everybody. I'm not saying. Who won't say? I bet you guys can guess. We're going to get our Christmas things out the garage and I'm so excited. Oh, look our drive. I know, it's getting tarmacked. <gasps> guys, look. There's work going on out there today. Our drive has been tarmacked, which is quite There's exciting. There's also Virgin Media people there as well, which makes me excited. Oh, sad. is there? Where? The We're having massive trouble with Virgin Media at the moment. I'm going to say this because I'm not very happy. Everyone has had Virgin installed in this street except our house, which for some reason they keep saying is not what they're saying. It's not ready to be done or something. It's not on their database. That's it's not on the database. We've been ringing up now for about two months, which is how long we've been in this house, and they keep saying, when are we going to be on the database then? They sent someone to the house. He looked at all the wire and said, yep, yeah, you guys are ready to go. Brilliant. Someone will be in contact. No one were in contact. So we rang them back up and they said, nope, still not ready. What did the guy do when he came to the house then? What did he do? Anyway, we're desperately in need of getting version installed because Sky's going to be 18 months. We don't have 18 months to wait. I want Christmas movies on Netflix. Oh, no, it's on Netflix. Nice internet going, yo. Why does Netflix not have Home Alone or Elf? No Home Alone and no Elf. You definitely show it doesn't. No, it doesn't. Is you going to look a fool if it does right now? No, if it does, people will comment saying it does and then I'll be happy. But I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Anyway, we want Christmas movies on. We want to get to our old house. and We're not putting our Christmas trip today, guys. Because Chris is a Grinch. But... No. Yeah. I'm going to start calling you Grinch. <laughs> we're going to the old house anyway. We're going to pick up our Christmas things because they're still in the garage of the old house. That's probably one of the only things we're still yet to even make a start on. It's full. But most of that stuff's probably going to charity, but not the Christmas things, obviously. So we're going up there, there today, going to get those, put them in our garage, ready to put up tomorrow? In a month. Tomorrow? In a month. The next day? This in weekend? In December. Please! This weekend! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you ready to go? Yeah, pretty Let's go. So as Sarah said, something very exciting is going on today. Our driveway is getting finished. That's not as exciting as this. Although, I know, this is, this is pretty exciting as well. This is Virgin, you guys. Getting Virgin installed, hopefully today. So the driveway was the one of the one things that weren't finished when we got our keys to our new house. Not that there was anything really wrong with it, it just wasn't very even. So now I'm really glad that it's been tarmacked today so that it'll be all nice. It'll look so much better. One thing I'm not glad about though is the 37 mile walk we've got to do to our car. Where have you parked? Right at the bottom. Right at the bottom. Anyway, Sarah and I are up at the old house right now. Who? Who misses that view, man? I miss that view Aww. in the morning so much. It's so pretty. I know we're literally just about to get as much Christmas stuff as Sarah said and put it in the boot. The boot! The boot's been cleared out. It's completely free and desperate for some Christmas trimmings putting in. So we have a full to the absolute brim boot right now. Chris is just finishing off putting the last few bits back into the garage and then we're going to, I'm not sure what we're going to do actually, I think Chris said he wanted to call to HomeSense, I'm not sure what for, but he wanted to call there for something so I think that's what we're going to do. I'm a bit frustrated because we've got about three or four more large Christmas boxes of decorations and things still in the garage and we can't put them all in the... <laughs> Chris is probably fighting with spiders right now. That's so funny. <laughs> I wanted to do like a couple of drop-offs at home so that we could take all the stuff we've got in currently in the boot, drop that off in our garage, come back, get the last few bits, take them. But we can't drop off at home because I suddenly realised our gar our driveway has been tarmacked so we can't park anywhere up near our house. So we now have a boot full of stuff and nowhere to take it. <laughs> it's going to have to stay in there until the drive's finished, which I'm hoping it'll be today. Who knows though? Anyway, We've made a start. I've got the Christmas stuff out. I put a Christmas hat on his head. He smiled. So we're there, guys. We are getting there. My Christmas tree is going up before the weekend. Isabel's going away this weekend, and I absolutely is putting a uh, what's that called? A sheet, 
a sheet over some of the tougher stuff in the back because I don't want the girls to see them and we're not going to be able to drop that off home before we pick the girls up from school for the reasons I just told you. Anyway, Isabel's away this weekend and I'm not leaving it till next week to know my tree. I'm feeling so festive. I really want our house and our Christmas tree to be decorated before she goes away on Friday. So I need to get around Crystal, but I think I'm getting there. Can't be a bit of easy lover. Although this isn't the Phil Collins version and the Phil Collins version cannot be beaten. Yo babe, come and check this out down here. You're gonna be like, I need this in my house now. Trust me. So much new stuff in here today. Wait, I wanna see your face when you see it. Okay, floor now. That ugly thing there? That ugly thing there? That, that is not. That looks like, that is not something I would ever want in our house. Are you serious? Look at that beast, man. That's Look how shiny it is. No, babe. It's a big old diamond leopard. No. That looks like <laughs> in a boudoir or something. A boudoir? In a family home. <laughs> now that is pretty cool. If that's an original movie poster from back when Star Wars first came out then that is really cool and that is definitely something I want on my walls in my house. Although Sarah will definitely say no. Yeah, she will. <laughs> I do love going in home since there's something very addictive about going in home since these days. I blame Zoella. <laughs> I only found that shop because of her. <laughs> I don't really blame you, I thank you. Anyway, we're about to go pick up the girls from school. Wand and wand and one very, very excited Esme today because she is having one of her best friends over for dinner. And we might be, might be, we haven't quite decided yet, just surprising them we, with something fun. We got a, we're losing a child today, Isabel's going out for tea, and we're gaining a child. Daisy's coming for tea, one of Esme's friends from school, so. Do you remember we always used to have friends over, like, every other night? We haven't had any over for ages. And we haven't had any friends over for so long, like, probably about a year. Well, no, not quite a year, but... We used to have them over, genuinely, we were that house that always had friends. It's windy. And we've not had any over for ages, so I'm really excited for tonight. Esme is desperate to go to a soft play. She woke up this morning and said, Mommy, I dreamed about going to a soft play tonight. Can we go? And she literally like, did. The first thing she said to me when she woke up this morning was, Can we go to Phenopolis soft play tonight? And I'm like, um, Ask Mom. And then I was a grinch. She said, No, Esme. But I feel really tired now. And it is a miserable day. But look how dark it is right now. I know. It looks really. Oh my gosh, get the camera straight back to me. Get the camera straight back to me. Guys, we're doing something tonight. That if it doesn't put Grinch in the Christmas spirit, then nothing will. Shall we tell them? What no, we're doing? we'll just show them. When we're it... not putting the tree You'll up. You'll just see in three minutes or so. It's all good. <laughs> You're true. All right. Okay, guys, we'll see you in a few minutes. <laughs> so I know a lot or most of you guys love to see what we buy when we go to the shops. So I just thought I'd show you what I just picked up in Home Science. I didn't actually pick up much for our house, just one thing, which I'll probably show you guys later on. But one thing i did buy now not to bring the whole vibe of this vlog down or anything like that but in a couple of days on, on saturday this week it will be my mum's two-year anniversary of her passing away yeah it'll be two years and so obviously we'll be going up there i like to take her some flowers and things up as always when i go and visit her or at her grave but I wanted to take something a little bit extra up because it's coming up to the Christmas season and I like to get her something. Like I always feel really, really weird around Christmas time because I've spent a lot of years searching what can I get my mum for Christmas this year and and now it's what can I get my mum for Christmas this year that will withstand weather and rain and that will stick to her grave, which is really sad. But I know I'm not the only one that's dealing with that and probably you know lots of people watching this have lost loved ones and have the same predicament that I have um but I did just want to say one thing a few girls t tweeted me a couple of days ago or one girl tweeted saying she didn't know what to get her mom or her mother-in-law for Christmas this year did I have any ideas and I just wanted to repeat my little bit of advice now obviously you don't have to take this advice it's just what what I wish I could go back and do and that is, if anyone's struggling for gifts to buy their mum, their sister, their grandma, their auntie, their best friend, I don't know, if you're struggling and you want to buy them something, then don't buy them something materialistic. If this is an option for you, buy them something that you can do together. It doesn't have to be like a £150 spa day. It can be a cinema ticket that you can both go to the cinema together. It can be a restaurant voucher so that you can go and have dinner together and chat. It can be a day at bowling or paintballing or a 
hair salon go and get your hair cut together i wish that i could go back and buy my mum christmas presents which meant that we could spend more time together she probably didn't even want that clock i got her that christmas or that vase that she shoved in the back of the cupboard <laughs> not that she was ungrateful but i'm just saying if i could go back then i would think more about doing things and getting people gifts that meant that we could spend time together that's just my two penneth anyway I got my mum this for her grave. I think it's super pretty. I really like it. I found another one that I was holding around the whole shop and then I saw this one and it's so much nicer. And I just think it's, it's quite heavy so it'll hopefully withstand wind. And it's just really, really nice and pretty. And it's obviously a Christmas flower or a Christmas vase but not too over the top Christmas. Not like the bright reds and greens, it's more subtle. So I really like that. Do you like that babe? Nice isn't it? Anyway guys, Hope you enjoyed that little tip from me. <laughs> okay, we're all changed. So, who would like to go to Phonopolis? <laughs> Esme, you literally almost just burst, Isla even, you literally just almost burst my eardrums. So, we're going to go to Phonopolis and have dinner there, and then we're going to do something so exciting what is it, what is it? afterwards. What is it? Tell us, tell us, tell us. Oh my gosh, I'll tell you guys. Chris isn't here and he likes to keep surprises a surprise and I like to tell you all. Afterwards girls, come yeah, around this side. Mama. Do you know at Christmas time? Yeah. What's your favourite advert? The no. girls are literally looking at me right now like this. What? What's your favourite Christmas advert? What advert comes on TV and you think when that advert comes on TV you know it's Christmas. It's massive and it's red. My advert. The coca-cola truck Bobby tell me about that you know the coca-cola truck the yeah. holidays are coming one yeah. that's at Morrison's so we're going to go and see it yeah. Yeah. a coca-cola truck no can we get a coca-cola a can of coke they do the miniature one sometimes anyway does that sound like a good plan yeah. fun off a list for dinner yeah. and a play and then we'll see the coca-cola yeah. truck before going home did you mention that Daisy's coming I did mention that Daisy was coming and then my Christmas night doesn't end there because I'm going to the cinema with some of my friends in the car open girls no, to see Bad Mom's Christmas. <laughs> My jeans are very slippy today. Me and Chris just ordered some lattes. My first latte in ages. I'm going to have a look at the menu. The menu is so good here. It's so reasonably priced too. And they do the most, I think we should get pizza. We can all share a pizza and they're so nice. It's not like frozen pizza. It's like proper, they make the dough and then put all the toppings on and they taste so good. And they're like nine pounds for a massive one and the whole family can share it. Should we do that for tea tonight? Let's do it, definitely. Let's do it. Uh, it kind of sucks in here today. I don't know what's up with all the lights, but apparently they're not working. And it makes the wacky warehouse really, really dark. And like, I mean, like, it looks really dark on camera, but it's super dark in real life too. It kind of gives it a really, like, not a good feel. And obviously I can't really film much of it, so. But we're still having a good time on this slide anyway, aren't we, babe? Yeah. Right, wait for me. Right, this is a proper rate up. Get up out for. Get your bum to the back of this. Get out of the back of that slide! You little cheese! I'm allowed to go here! I'm allowed to go here! Okay, one, two, three, go! <laughs> 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 that might have been a draw! Oh my gosh, quick jump! Quick, there's loads of people coming! Okay, this is the best of three, number three. Okay, Isla beat me one time, then we drew. So now it's the last girl. Who do you think is going to win? This girl, me, are you? Are you going to cheat this time? Are you going to cheat this time? I bet this one's going to win. <laughs> oh no, it's gone. <laughs> Listen to me. Get your bum to the back of the slide, you little cheat. Oh, fine. Okay, you ready? One. Three, two, two one. <laughs> no! <laughs> you beat me. You beat me, Isla. You little punk. <laughs> okay, so I've got Esme. And I've got Daisy, and we're all going to race down. These crazy girls are going to race down backwards, 
Are you ready for this, girls? Yeah? Okay, three, two, one. Woohoohoohoo! <laughs> Isn't that you crazy girl? You alright, Daisy? <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, can you hear that? Okay, I might be feeling a little bit Christmassy now after this. This is really, really cute. My little boo-boo just got a little bit upset because mom has just left to go to the cinema with her friends tonight. And you're missing mummy already. Yeah, you didn't want her to leave. No. Oh, come here, baby. Come give me a big hug. Girl. Anyway, I think we're gonna head back home because it's super rainy here right now. We've met an absolute ton of you guys here tonight. It's been amazing. We've had such a good time saying hi to you all. And we've taken so many selfies. I think we're gonna go head home, yeah? And get a hot chocolate. Does that sound good? So we just dropped off Esme's friend Daisy back at home and we're just back at the house. The girls are just upstairs getting their pajamas on, ready for bed. We're gonna kick back in the cinema room and put a movie on and have a little daddy-daughter time up there and have some snuggles tonight because that is what the girls want to do most. Yeah. And as it is coming towards bedtime, that's what we're gonna do, right girls? Yeah. So I've got two very tired girls this evening. Isla Savannah, who is absolutely ruined right now and needs to go to bed. And Esme Alexa. You're never tired. No. I can see that face. You're never tired. You're ready to go to Phenopolis again. Yeah. For definite. Yeah. The girls are both in their mermaid tails right now because it is absolutely boiling in this house. We forgot that we left the heating on all day. And it's so warm. It's warm, right, Prinny? Yeah? It's so hot in here, even Prini's boiling hot right now. Whilst the kettle is boiling for our hot chocolates, I wanted to tell you guys about a little something, something. You guys know how much I love rollerblading, especially aggressive inline rollerblading, which is what I do, where you do tricks on rails and ramps and really cool things like that. Now, one of my very good friends, Scott Quinn, he is a professional rollerblader. He skates for a company called Razors. He's extremely talented, extremely successful in the sport. And he has just released a new video section that is an on-demand section, so you have to buy it to watch it. However, it is extremely cheap for what it is, and the content is incredible. It's so good. I downloaded it the other night because I will do anything at all I can to promote what is one of the best sports in the world and it is such an undervalued sport as well. There is no way near enough coverage of it, there is no way near enough funding for it, there is no way near enough knowledge about the sport in the world in general and there so needs to be. There is some absolutely incredibly talented people in this world that do some incredibly talented things on rollerblades and it is just insane how undervalued and undernoticed this sport is. And it breaks my heart every single day because it should be so well recognized and it should be one of those sports where their top athletes are paid well to do the sport professionally. Unfortunately, there are so many professionals in the world that do aggressive inline skating and they do it to such a high standard and it is the, it's such a hard sport to master. It's incredibly tough, it's incredibly demanding. It takes a lot of skill and a lot of brain versus fear overcoming to do well. And this guy, one of my good friends, Scott Quinn, he is incredible. And this section that he's just released on demand is so good, I was literally watching it with my jaw on the floor the whole time wincing, like, oh, please land it, please land it. It's just so, so good. Anyway, I'm gonna link it up down below. If you guys are interested, if you fancy going and checking it out, 
if you just fancy showing some, some support for what is such an incredible sport that desperately needs as much support as it can possibly get, then head on over on the link below and show Scott some love and download his new video because it's so, so good. If you do download it, drop me a comment and let me know what you thought, let me know that you did, let me know how much it blew your mind because even if you're not interested in rollerblading itself, watching a video as good as that, you can't help but be inspired by it, it's just incredible. So big props Queenie, well done mate because that section is insane. So we got our hot chocolates. Yeah. yeah. I can drink mine because I think you've got a bit of hot milk in it. I have, darling. It's very nice. It's just nice and warm now. Is it good? Yeah, it's really nice. Right, my gorgeous girl. Are you ready to go to sleep? Yeah. Yeah? Good. I love you so much. I love you. Mwah. You've had a busy day today. You need to get lots of sleep, okay? Yeah. No, no, gorgeous. Yeah, no. I love you. Love you. Love you do. Love you, love you. And my beautiful <laughs> Esme Alexa. Have you had a lovely day with your friend coming over? Yeah. I'm so <laughs> glad. Can I have a kiss? Yeah. I love you and I'll see you in the morning. Oh, you've got some lovely minty breath. <laughs> mm. I love my teeth with the Very nice. Yeah. Right, gorgeous. You ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Oh, Good girl. You blew before me. Good night, sweet peas. Good night. Good night. Good night. We just finished up in the cinema, it was so good. I always think with those types of movies that we go to the <laughs> I always think with those types of movies they can borderline sometimes on stupid. But that was really fun, it was really light hearted, it was quite emotional towards the end. I'm not going to give any spoilers away just in case any of you mums watching this or aunts or grandmas want to go and watch it but it's a really good film I definitely recommend it I just said goodbye to two of my other friends that came with us this evening Alana and Michelle they just headed off that way and we're heading back to the car back home to Chris and the girls as you guys can see I'm now back home and can I just say you look like Santa <laughs> I told you that coke trucks put me in the Christmas spirit you actually look Grinch. like Santa Grinch might be slowly disappearing slowly disappearing maybe <laughs> Maybe we can put our tree up in like a week. <laughs> right guys, that is Sarah at home. We've just finished watching another Bates Motel. Man, that series is absolutely brutal. I want to watch another one so bad, but I've got to start editing up this video, so I can't. It's getting late, but it is so, so good. I think it's on 18 now, so don't watch it unless you're over 18. Anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching. We will catch you all tomorrow night at 6pm with more of the same. Until then guys, good night. <laughs>